Welcome to From AMIA to Armistice, a series of podcasts commissioned by UCL Institute of Education. I'm Simon Bendry, Director of the UCL Institute of Education's First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours Programme. In August 2018, students from across the United Kingdom joined students from France, the United States, Canada and Australia on the Western Front to commemorate the Battle of Amiens. This series, recorded largely on location during that battlefield tour, tells the story of the Battle of Amiens in the wider context of the First World War and the road to armistice. In this podcast, we hear reflections from the group representing Scotland on the battlefield tour. My name is Colette McCourt and I'm from Brote Ferry, Dundee in Scotland. We did some research on Dundee soldiers who fought in the Battle of Amiens. One of the soldiers, Angus MacDonald, was from Dundee, so it adds a more personal feel to the whole learning experience. He was quite young and quite a lot of the other ones were young as well. And I feel it being the start of the end, it was such a shame they made it so far and sadly lost their life. It makes you feel more determined to keep them in your remembrance. I'm Lucy Bowers from Claybank in Scotland. We looked at personal stories of soldiers who fought in the battle that were from Scotland. In particular, we found out about James Malarkey from Newton Grange in Dalkeith. He was a tank driver in the war, and the tank that he drove was actually named after the place he was from, Newton Grange. So it was really interesting to come out here and see the exact places where James Malarkey fought within the Battle of Amiens. Hi, I'm Katie Thompson from Brody Ferry, Dundee. For this trip, we've been learning about the Battle of Amiens and Scotland's role in it. There was a lot of Scots fighting in the Battle of Amiens, however, they weren't actually in Scottish regiments. They were fighting in Canadian, American and Australian regiments. And we found out that that was usually because they'd immigrated from Scotland over there. When we were at the cemeteries throughout this week, we've noticed quite a few of the Scottish soldiers from regiments such as Canadian Light Infantry and Royal Scots and Scots Guards as well. Hi, I'm Ava Troni from Dundee, Scotland. When I first heard about the trip, I was really excited because I think it's important to be able to visualise the battle instead of just researching about it. So once I got here, to be on the battlefields where those soldiers fought was really emotional for me to see that this has happened instead of just reading the words on paper. Also to see Scottish names on the graves in Scottish battalions. When we were at Newfoundland Park, we went to see the memorial for the Highlanders, which I think also hits home because it shows that these Scots fought in this battle. I'm Chloe Boyd from Clybank in Scotland. I think one of the most special parts of the trip was being able to communicate with different countries and seeing that they've been doing the same kind of research as us across the world. And it's been really good to share the story of James Markey, who we chose to research. And it's also been really interesting to find out stories from other countries like Australia and Canada, the kind of stuff they've been doing. You have been listening to From Amiens to Armistice, a Chrome Radio production for UCL Institute of Education. The producer was Katrina Oliphant, with sound design by Chris Sharp. In our next podcast, we hear reflections from the group representing Northern Ireland on the Battlefield Tour.